All right, um, this video is on how to shuck a Backup Plus portable drive from Seagate. Um, this one in particular is a five terabyte drive that I purchased from Costco. Uh, substantially cheaper than purchasing a drive directly from Seagate. Um, so this video is how to shuck the hard drive out of the backup case. Uh, disclaimer, this drive will not be usable um, as a backup after this. I'm removing the hard drive to install into a uh, Unified Cloud Key Gen 2. Um, so I have no intention of reusing the USB backup portion of, of this drive. Uh, I do apologize that uh, if for any video issues because my um, I'm doing this backwards. So... I couldn't find any videos online, so I figured I'd make one um, for this particular model. I've already started, I uh, removed it from the packaging, and I've already started doing that, and I realized that I should make a video for y'all. So. Um, so we'll take the drive. Um, you'll see here that there's an aluminum or maybe faux metal portion here and here, and then this is all plastic. There's the USB side. Um, so. What we're gonna do is, I started on the long end. I really have no idea what I'm doing, but I figured I'd show you guys how I do it. And I just took a small flathead screwdriver and a slightly larger flathead screwdriver. And I'm just gonna do a, uh, a wedge with one, rotate with the other, kind of work my way down the long end. The US another slightly larger flathead out of my toolkit and we're just going to go back the same way twisting twisting with a slightly larger flathead until we get around the entire end so that was actually very very easy. It appears that I did not damage any of the hard drive. Maybe over here, I got a little aggressive. So when you're doing it, connector end, lid, and that's what that looks like. So maybe inserting, like I said, two to three millimeters is safe. So we're gonna move that. It appears like it's held in right here with a rubber clip. So, it looks like the damage to the plastic case is acceptable for me. I'm trying to limit damage to the hard drive. So it looks like maybe inserting a screwdriver all the way down and slowly lifting up might be okay. I'm kind of risking my hard drive for your guys' knowledge, so. So all I did was insert straight down and slowly pull up or wedge away from the drive while kind of pulling up as it came. And that did not sound good. That sounded terrible, so. So it looks like the entire unit is self-contained. So the USB to SATA adapter appears to be connected to the drive. As you see, there's nothing left inside here. I don't care about that anymore. We'll take off the shock absorbing bumpers. It appears to be a regular drive with some foil tape around it. So now, difficult portion is removing all of this tape, which we'll do by hand. So it looks like after you pour the foil off, they've covered all the uh, uh, circuit boards with some sort of plastic wax paper, then foiled it. So as you peel it off, It appears that it's relatively safe and secure in here. So we're going to remove all the foil before we install it. 
So all, this is exactly, so this is all the foil and paper removed. As you can see, there's your, your USB to SATA adapter that we've exposed. We're slowly gonna pull it off. Looks like there's no screws on there. So uh, we'll just do this, pull it off. And it appears I have a drive, five terabyte drive that I can now install into my Unify Cloud Key Gen 2. Um, looks like it's intact and working. Um, obviously, if this video is posted, that means the drive was sh successfully shut and is functioning. So thanks for watching. Hope it helps.